It's your girl, Pamela, baby. Coming to you live. Yeah, you heard mommy sing. This is Lola Giselle. Say hi, Lola. She's not going to say hi, y'all. If you've um, been following me, you probably haven't seen her in a while. She's still my road dog. She's always on the truck with me, no matter what, okay? She's been out here for three years. She's used to all the different weathers and terrains. She knows when I start up the truck, she knows when to jump into her bed because we're getting ready to pull out. She's just used to it all, okay? When I first recorded with her, all of the hair on her face was black. Now it's turned white because she just had a birthday on October 9th. So you guys can wish her a happy belated birthday. She turned seven. So we all know in dog years, that is old, okay? I think she might have pooped in the truck. I can count on one hand, maybe three times because she was really, really sick. Something that she ate probably out in the truck stop. But you know, you know, other than that, no real issues with my dog. And I'm going to do a video on how I take care of her on the road as well. So you guys stay tuned for that. But this video is about the GPS that I use and what I use on the road to get to my final destination. All right. I use... Garmin DEZL785, I got this from the actual Garmin store, okay? It was $500 three years ago, it has not given me any real problems, and I can compare it to a Rand McNally, the top model, I had it, I purchased it from, purchased it from a Loves in Ohio, had it for seven days because it was not functional for me, it wasn't efficient, it was too complex, too complicated. I wanted to fling it out on the highway. I just did not like it. I just didn't think that they had a, the drivers in mind when they created that particular model. All right. With this, I hate to say it, you know, we're in 2021, but I don't really do too much trip planning because I have this. I know I shouldn't really be relying um on something that could potentially go out but that is where my backups come in okay i have an eld with uh directions and navigation on it and that is made for a truck this is made for a truck and, and trailer eighty thousand pounds and then i use my second phone my business phone i use this I have this set on my dash with Google Maps running on it. All right, this is the tiebreaker between my ELD navigation and this. I always use Google Maps before going to a customer to see what the entrance is and the exit. How much space do I have to work with? Do I have to um is it on a dirt road is it you know you just want to know is it in a residential area that's what i use this for okay this google maps is not or google navigation is not made for trucks this is for cars okay so you have to use your better judgment when it's telling you to um take a certain route and then i have this and my eld telling me to go the same direction then i know that I shouldn't be following this. However, it does keep me up to date with live traffic. It also tells me, you know, if uh, or reports accidents, um, speed traps. So that's what I use this for. This tells me live updates on traffic, live updates on the weather, on my route. And it gives me all of that through Bluetooth on my phone. Not like the Rand McNally that requires you to have Wi-Fi. And how many truck drivers you know have Wi-Fi in their truck? We all have it, but I don't want to burn up my Wi-Fi gigs while I'm driving for eight to 10 hours when I could just Bluetooth it to my phone. No, no, all I need is bars on the phone. To me, that was the utmost, the, the basically why I purchased this and, and stuck with this and why I love this. Like I said, I don't have to do too much trip planning. Um, 
once you've been out here for a while, you kind of know the routes. You kind of know where the truck stops are. You know how long it takes you to get certain places. So trip planning is not necessarily like it used to be. And just in case you can't remember where truck stops are, truck stops are rest areas are, this tells you on the side. See that says truck stops, truck parking. I'm parked right now and I'm in an area that doesn't have that much truck stops and truck parking. So I'm at a QT, right? So ordinarily it would tell me on my runs and it'll tell me how many miles. If I click, it'll tell me and it'll say loves. It'll say Flying J. I can click on that Flying J. I can click on that loves and it'll tell me, it'll give me directions to that and I can just easily add it to my route. Hands down, this is the best, okay? It may be crashed on me in the three years. It might've crashed on me five times. Uh, I update it when I'm on my home time because to get the updates, uh, you have to have it connected to Wi-Fi. So I, could, I update when I go home. And, um, you know, there is a downside to that sometimes. Um, it doesn't always give you each and every truck stop. But I will say 95% of the time, I can see what's coming up ahead. I can also change that to um, if I wanted to see uh, what's up ahead as far as the next turn. You know, it depends on your preference. I just prefer to keep it on the truck stops. Uh, it also uh, gives you elevation. It tells you east or west, which which direction you're traveling. You can all set, you can set all of that up on that Garmin and how you want it set. It also comes with. Uh, voice command. I turned it off because it just seemed like it was just a little too sensitive to me. I could say I, you can name it whatever you want. I named it King because that's the name of my truck. I would say, hey, King, give me uh, weather. And it would tell me and show me weather. It would show me, you know, it's getting ready to rain in, let's just say, Mississippi. On the, Whatever my route is, it's going to show me what the weather is then. All right. So I can say, hey, King, and it, it also connects to your phone. I can say, hey, King, uh, call Tasha, and it will call Tasha. Just like your phone, hey, Siri, hey, Google, it would do just that. So to me, and because I'm one of those drivers who really don't like the unexpected, I love that Garmin tells you everything that's coming up ahead. It tells you when it's a steep grade, it tells you when there's a, a, a animal crossing. It tells you if you're getting ready to cross a railroad that could potentially, um, a railroad track, you know those railroad tracks if you, you know, that could connect or that sits up high off the road, you know, and you can have potentially have some shock between your tractor and your trailer. It gives you all of those warnings. I mean, it tells you about curves, a curve up ahead. Um, it tells you, heights of overpasses anything you can think of that you would need to know that's coming up ahead because you are in a semi the garment is going to tell you all right it even has um a radar on it okay that will alert you if you are too close to a car or an object in front of you all right it also has um which is very important uh accident or incident recording so let's just say you rear-ended somebody it will capture that at its very moment this does come with the camera okay and i have it always recording okay but just to have that incident report where i don't have to go through an entire day of recording, it will already have it. And it'll alert me of the time, date, and all of that. And that is another big reason why I purchased the Garmin. Even though the uh, Rad McNally comes with the camera and it had better quality, the camera on the Rad McNally did have better quality filming and recording. This records just as good. It records sound. You can turn the sound off if you want. But I always have that camera rolling even though i do have an omnitrax camera at the top of my dash again i just i'm just a big big person i'm big on backups 
Um, right. It also alerts you, you know, of your drive time. You know what I'm saying? It tells you when to take your breaks. It's just easy. Okay. I like easy and straight to the point. Give me exactly what it is that I need. You know, Rand McNally was just doing too much. They was just putting in, you know, geographic maps. And I don't need all that. I really don't. I, I just don't need all that. That This gives you directions in the United States and Canada. Where else can you go? Why would I need geographical maps? You know, the only thing I will say that I don't like is that, you know, compared to the Rand McNally, Rand McNally actually shows you the terrain that you're getting ready to go into or that you're in. You know, this does, but it's by color. You know what I mean? And it could say it could be brown and the background could be brown, which, you know, I guess represents um, the desert. But it's not showing me. We all know if you're out in Arizona or California, the desert has mountains. I'm just one of those drivers that I like to know what's up ahead. I, I like to know what kind of terrain I'm going in. But again, you learn that with time. Once you've been out here on the road for a couple of years, you kind of automatically know if you're going to hit I-70, you're going to be running into some mountains if you're going west. And it is what it is. But yeah, I use all three, like I said, and um, I haven't had any issues. I am not opposed to a, a new driver learning the Atlas because that is what was taught to me in CDL school, how to use an Atlas. So, you know, pull it out every now and then and look at it. But um, Garmin is my friend. All right. So if you guys got any questions, any comments, please drop down in the comments section and um, I'll get back to you. Say bye, Lola. You ain't gonna say bye, mama? Say bye. Bye. Bye, y'all.